Sunday night, lonely night. This is the Sign Gamer for Fun, GGM Shadow Games. And today, we're playing another part of Castlevania Lords of Shadow Ultimate Edition. And as per usual, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more gaming contents like this. Don't forget also to click the bell button for you to know when I will be uploading the next video. And you can now donate to my coffee in the description below if you can. And as per usual, enjoy the show. And now we're continuing. So he has found another of Gandalf's upgrades. This was unforeseen, though it should prove useful in the challenges to come. The lost city of Aghata looms before him. I wonder if you know what truly lies ahead for you, Gabriel, what God has in store for you. The land of the Lycans. This ruined city now belongs to their lord, and you can be sure he will not allow you to pass without forfeiture of your life. But in order to bring her back, you need to defeat him, my friend. You need to crush him into the dust, like the worm that he is. Yep, he is us. He is suspicious, Zobek. I'll just keep moving forward. I need to fast run. Press and hold the lipstick in the direction. Oh, wow! Okay, now I understand. Okay, okay, okay. Not yet, not yet. Yes, I have no other choice but to kill him. Okay. Warthog. The genealogy of these monstrous boars has been kept secret among goblin tribes for centuries. 
It is a process that involves special breeding and feeding and large helpings of shamanistic magic. Warthogs are so scarce that having more than one of these mounts is something only a few goblin tribes can aspire to. Goblins not only use them for riding into battle but also to consume all the rubbish and leftover scraps of food, thus helping to maintain a clean environment. Okay, another one. I have been practicing my fighting skills and have discovered that I block. If I block often, I can increase my focus. This is really starting to pay dividends because I am able to focus much quicker, which enables me to keep my magic on all the time during combat.
each creature is weak against a against a particular weapon one is clever one can deduce what each creature weakness is and use it against them i am going to take some notes to remind me a kind of bestiary that will tell me what i need to know about each monster and how best to defeat them Feeling. Greater lycanthrop, greater or pure blood lycanthrops are those spawned from the Dark Lord himself. In these cases, their condition is not considered a disease as the transformation process has been deliberately chosen. The endowment of lycanthropy, however, is not given to just anyone by the werewolf Dark Lord. Only a handful of his more loyal acolytes have received such a gift. The Dark Lord keeps this elite guards for special missions and they are not only fearsome but incredibly intelligent and formidable foes in combat Okay, this continue. ancient city occupies many layers, each one being the foundation for the next. It is a labyrinthine maze of dead ends and forgotten walkways. Danger lurks around every corner. He has shown great resilience, but this journey will take him longer than anticipated and deeper than any man has ever ventured in centuries. He will need all his wits to find an alternative route into the heart of the city.
where his destiny awaits him. Ooh, we'll we'll see what happens next. Okay, another book. Another scroll. I have been looting my brother's corpses in search of gems. If I collect enough, I will become invincible. Those fools are busy trying to save the world. Well, I will soon be able to conquer it with my new found power. I know there is a light gem nearby. I intend to find it. No one can stop me now. No one. Well, you're dead. Your own greed killed you, so... Your fault. Okay, why?
have learned that revisiting previous areas can yield beneficial resource. I have found items and relics that I wasn't able to use at the time, but as I became stronger, I have been able to revisit locations and obtain valuable items to enhance my skills. I will continue to check my map to make sure I am not missing anything that could help me. As do I. But I think I will be able to go back on those when I manage to get the certain items. Small troll. Biologically speaking, if small and great trolls are more or less equal, however, their behavior couldn't be more different. The large subspecies is fairly aggressive, whereas small trolls are cowardly and will quickly flee when outnumbered, often seeking the protection of their bigger, more violent cousins from where they will throw rocks at adversaries. abilities Cave Troll Trolls are a dying species living mostly in mountainous areas. They are aggressive and territorial. This can sometimes result in attacks on humans who are foolish enough to enroach on the troll's natural habitat. However, cave trolls are usually passive around their own kind and rarely attack each other, though they will often 
kill to protect their kindred. Men say that when trolls die of old age, they turn to stone and this can be clearly seen in certain rock formations if one looks closely enough. The scrolls are not important much but there are some but they add some lores on what happened to their but some of the brotherhood of lights. Oh, this is a very long section.
Okay, there it is. Okay, the shadow medallion. Now you can combine light and shadow magic giving you very powerful strategies for defeating your enemies use to replenish your health use okay damage Okay, that's impressive. Okay, I didn't miss anything. Which, thank you. So, anyways, that's it for now. There are only five more left. Five more left, then after that. And the last three parts, I think I'm gonna try to complete those in one run. So, anyways, that's it for now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more gaming contents like this. Don't forget also to click the bell button for you to know when I will be uploading the next video. And you can now donate to my coffee in the description below if you can. 
And as per usual, this is the Silent Gamer for Fun, JGM Shadow Games in signing off and see you in the next part of Castlevania, Lords of Shadow Ultimate Edition. Bye-bye!